Hi friends. I have some really good news for you. It may not seem like good news at first, but uh, it is good news. Um, did you know that you have been and will eventually um, outlive your body? Did you know that? You will eventually outlive your body. And uh, that's not actually something that would be new. You've been outliving your body for a long time. And this is an important point for me to make, and let me explain that. What do I mean by that? Um, have you ever seen a picture, a photograph of yourself when you were a baby? Like a year old, maybe even less than that. Do you have the photos of your baby pictures? Right? So if you do, right, you can look at those pictures and uh, you know that's you, right? But a uh, question that you should ask yourself, it's an important question, is where is that body? If you look at your baby picture when you were a year or two years old or maybe three or maybe five and you're an adult now and you look back at your, your baby pictures, do you still have that body? Do you? No, right? It's a ridiculous question, right? That body's long gone. That body is not here. Actually, um, and you probably know this, you're probably aware of this, the human body is constant. It's cells. It's made up of, I think, about 37 trillion cells in the human body. And those cells are constantly dying and new cells are being regenerated on a regular basis. And after about, I believe, seven years, could be wrong about that, but I think about after about seven years, you have a completely new body. Did you know that? Your cells are completely different. There is not one cell in your body that you have right now that was there when you were born. Did you know that? That's right. That's why when you look at pictures from your past, that's a completely different body. That body's not there. But you're still here, right? I mean, you're here, right? So who are you? Isn't that an interesting question? So many of us are body identified. We see ourselves primarily through our body. And so that's why when, you know, the body dies, the, there's an existential crisis because we're like, well, who, if we, if the body dies, then is that our life? Is our life over? Is there anything beyond that? But I just want to remind you that your body has been dying from day one. You don't even have the same body. You've had several bodies at my age. I've had several bodies in my lifetime, several, and that'll continue. And eventually I'll grow this entire construct, but I am not my body and neither are you. It's really important you remember that, especially when we have crises like we have today with the pandemic. Whenever we have a health crisis, it's actually an opportunity. It's an opportunity to come back to who you are and you are not your body, okay? You're not your body, you go beyond your body. When we are body identified and something happens to the body, we get shaken at the core of our being. It frightens us, it causes anxiety and stress. Anytime something happens to your body it can shake you when you are identified with your body. You, however, are the common denominator. You've had many bodies in your lifetime you, you're not the same body you were when you were one year, when you were one, when you were five, when you were 10. You're not the same body, but yet you are the same. You are the constant. Your body is changing. Your body is in flux. Your body is coming in and coming out. It's coming coming in line, it's coming offline. It's coming into, into life and it's dying. This is a constant cycle, but you are the constant. You are the remaining. You're the unchanging one. You are the one. That remains yesterday today forever it's you your essence your being okay it's really important you understand this the more you identify with your essence with your being who you are the less shaken you will be and also the more you will be able to make decisions and react and respond I should say and respond to what's happening in our world there's a lot of things going on right now our economy is being reset. There are important conversations that we're having at a, at a collective level, national level, about what healthcare is, what's gonna happen in the future about our healthcare, 
And we really need all of us to be uh, non-body identified. We need to be rooted in our truest, highest essence so that we are not manipulated by fear and panic because any decision we make, either personally or collectively, that comes from fear or panic will not be good decisions for our health, politically, emotionally, spiritually. You never want to make decisions in fear. Okay? So we're going to need to be identified with our highest self in this we're going we're gonna to need that in the days ahead in the future, okay? A lot of things are changing. We need to be present and awake and not easily manipulated by fear, okay? If you'd like more information from me, go to my website, jamaljavanji.com. Scroll to the bottom, put your email address in there, click submit. also have a new uh, Facebook group that I started this year called Uprooting from the Poverty Mindset. Uh, we're having really important conversations in that group. I do live presentations in there weekly. Um, and it's totally free, but the content that's shared in there is, is extremely valuable. So, But I would encourage you to do a search for that on Facebook, Uprooting from the Poverty Mindset. You can request to join. You'll have to answer a few questions, and then you'll be admitted to that group. And uh, you can get in on these really important conversations. Okay? All right, guys. Be well. Be whole. And uh, remember, you're not your body. You are the unchanging one. Until next time, take care.